All right, we are live, everybody. Welcome to the Real Rose Awards 2015 JP2 Interfaith Film Festival. Thank you all for joining us live on YouTube. This is wonderful. This is our third time doing this uh, this Real Rose Awards ceremony live, and uh, it's worked out many times in the past. And uh, we have a lot of filmmakers not only present, uh, but we have a lot of filmmakers uh, on uh, the Google Hangout as well. So before we officially begin. Um, Mario, I'm going to switch over to Mario Xavier. He's our film correspondent. He's going to kind of just walk around, and uh, we'll take a few shots of the crowd, and then we'll the award ceremony will commence. So let me find where Mario is. All right, Mario. I'm right over here, Frank. How's it going? So everybody's starting to have take their seats. Everybody's grabbing something to drink. Uh, I'm with uh, I'm with a few people. Let me see here. Mike. Let's start with Michael. Let's start with Michael, uh, our lead actor on the film Adrenaline. Uh, of, uh, you tell me a great story about uh, adrenaline. So let me, let me just preface something. There, there's something called residuals, which actors, actors receive for films they've done. And, you know, it's kind of like royalties, if you would say. You were telling me a great story about residuals that the car, your the engine, the car died. Yes. During filming, and if you want to go ahead and tell that story, real quick. Sure, sure. Yeah, during the filming of Adrenaline, uh, four days in, our uh, hero car, the engine blew, and. Um, and uh, we were trying to find some money to replace the engine with, and in the mail I had received a, a residual check for almost the exact amount of <laughs> what it was. And so I, I prayed about it. I told my wife, and we just decided to help out with the film. And so we got the car up and running. So uh, you know, we got to cross that finish line. That's that's incredible. That's just one of those stories that you know it's like meant to be. Um, all right, thank you, Michael. Thank you. Thank you for broadcasting. Yeah, keep going. No, no, I'm just getting a little notification. I just want to make sure. Oh, yeah, we're still, we're still broadcasting. Okay. We're still live. Still live. Okay, no, I just want to make sure. Um, so we have Craig. Craig is okay, over here. Okay, you want to make sure you go. So, Craig Shimahara. Did I pronounce that right? I'm sorry. Okay. I tried. Okay. Sorry, Craig. Craig Shimahara. Okay. 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 Uh, so, um, so Craig, you have some really beautiful visuals and a really beautiful choreography. Uh, you want to tell us anything about that? Any inspirations you have for any of that? Or you know, we uh, we were asked if we wanted to shoot in Japan. Um, mm -hmm. in, in some ways, it's actually you could do it that way. Mm -hmm. But in, in truth, uh, I didn't want to leave the family for that long, three right. kids and all that. So we shot it in Los Angeles on, on the blue screen. And I, I run a effects companies so we're interested to do that one. Oh, that was amazing, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. And was there any film I mean, it was interesting contrast between you know, I, I guess you can say the fantasy world and the American or you know the, the real world I guess you can say. So yeah, was there was there any particular films that inspired you or anything for that or uh, really uh, it was more Sisyphus. Oh, okay. And the Kings of Narnia, the, the idea of taking the inner struggles that we all have and, and representing them on a, on a figurative battlefield. That was kind of the bit that's for the master list. That is awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, and those uh, Narnia films have always been great, and, and it was fantastic. Thank you so much. Thanks. <laughs> All right, uh, so um, how are we doing, Frank? We're doing well. I can introduce my daughter. Yes! yes. <laughs> uh, this is Eva Redette. This is Eva. This is Eva. She's 15 months, and uh, she is the, uh, the baby that was in the trailer, the official selection trailer that you guys can watch online. The uh, film festival was here. Uh, but she's a little baby because I, as I was editing it, I realized that you know footage of a newborn is like $150 for three seconds. And I figured, well, I just had a newborn. Why don't I just use actual footage of when she was born? And, uh, and that's what we did. So you can check out that uh, on YouTube. But you got a little bit of footage of her. So hi, Ema. You broadcast to the world. So hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> it's way past your bedtime. I think. Yeah. Speaking of that, it's way past my bedtime as well. But um, no. Whoa! I'm in a photo. A photo within a photo within a photo. It's very meta. <laughs> um, we're gonna get started. We're gonna get started. Excellent. No rush, guys. All right, I'm gonna mute this. We're gonna get the echo. All right, everybody. I think it's time to officially get started. So everybody can still, you know, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy your uh, food, enjoy your beverages. Everybody who's there at home, I'm sure you're enjoying your house 
or wherever you are at right now. Hopefully the Wi-Fi is doing well as well. So good evening. Welcome to the Rhythm of Life, the 2015 JB2 Interfaith Film Festival. Thank you all for being here. It's been an incredible 10 days. We screened 31 films from 13 different countries, and it's been a phenomenal. Uh, my name is Frank Brennan, in case you guys don't know. Uh, I'm the co-founder, co-director. My lovely wife is also here as well, the other co-founder, co-director. And uh, Raphael Anrich, which is the other one. I can switch to him in a second. Mario, can you grab some footage over here? With that, yes. Yeah. Uh, Laura. The and then uh, Ralph over here. Some of our co-directors. Shaky cam. There it is, buddy. Excellent. So for all of you who are in attendance, um, it's going to be hard to actually see the live broadcast on the big screen here because I'm having the uh, presentation up. But if all of you want to actually watch this from your smartphones right now, go to our main website, www.jp2filmfestival.org. You can watch and see all the filmmakers directly from your phones right now as we're broadcasting it. It's, uh, it's up on our website, so that goes to everybody else out there, even though if you're watching it, you already know. Um, but everybody out there, if you want to watch all the filmmakers uh, online, you can do that. So I encourage you guys to be able to do that. All right. So a few uh, thank yous before we begin. We just want to say a few thank yous to some of our sponsors who have made this year really, really incredible. Um, first of all, uh, Miami-Dade County, who blessed us with a wonderful grant this year, which we were able to have uh, this amazing theater, which is the Sinopolis in Coconut Grove. Uh, Carmel Communications, Alvarado Communications for all of our press, Sir Speedy, um, Christian Casuals for our t-shirts, Coco Walk for uh, this wonderful venue, Life FM 90.9 uh, .9 for helping us uh, do some advertising, Sarah International, uh, Subterranean in Design, who did all of our wonderful design and our brand new logo, because we changed our name to the JP2 Interfaith Film Festival, we got a brand new logo with that, and also our accountant and uh, board of directors member, T.H. Mazio, who is actually in attendance here today. Can we, can we kind of point him out, too? <laughs> yeah, you can be embarrassed, Mario. So uh, I also want to thank uh, New York Times bestselling author Matthew Kelly, who um, really has been the inspiration behind our theme this year, which is The Rhythm of Life. He, uh, he wrote a book and, uh, called The Rhythm of Life, Living Every Day with Passion and Purpose, and after we read it, we were very inspired by the theme and wanted to incorporate it somehow into the film festival this year. Um, he's not only uh, the voice, which is on our official selection trailer, he's also uh, somebody who donated all of his, uh, a bunch of copies of his books, which we have for the audience here to purchase, uh, and he signed copies as well. So Matthew Kelly, if you are watching or you're going to watch in the future, thank you very, very much. And as I mentioned, Mario Xavier is our film correspondent this evening. Uh, Mario will be able to go around and uh, talk a little bit to each of the filmmakers who are present okay. here today. And, uh, and um, you know, we have a few special guests. We already talked to Craig. We talked to Michael. Uh, we have a few other special guests that Mario will touch base with yeah, throughout the night. Um, and I want to cover this year's theme because this year's theme is really important before we get to the awards. Um, we, we really feel the rhythm of life says a lot about creativity and uh, a lot about these films that, that were chosen for this official selection this year. Um, and, you know, this year's theme and our selections remind us that our hearts beat to a more profound rhythm than, than the one that we're normally uh, used to recognizing. And uh, it's been really incredible having a lot of these films uh, here as well. Um, so with that being said, let's, without further ado, let's get into some awards, right? That's what everybody's here for. All right, so as we move forward, I'll, uh, I'll be moving through the, uh, the presentation behind me. And uh, if uh, we have anybody who wins who's on the, is live or here, we'll cut to them, and you guys can give a nice acceptance speech. Or, uh, and if they're not here, we'll wish them uh, congratulations and best of luck as well. All right, so let's go ahead and move forward. Let me let my remote connect to my Mac. If it finds it. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm sorry, I got you, Mario. All right, so here we go. Let's start off with our first nominee. All right, best short screenplay. There we go. Everybody got you guys can see that in the background, right? So a few of our nominees, best short screenplay. Number one, going down the list, we have uh, Alone Way, Nicholas Chimilus Chimilewski. 
Kamelski. Okay, thank you. Nicholas is actually here, so Nick, uh, congratulations on your nomination. <laughs> Second nomination for Best Short Screenplay, La Voz de Cuba, uh, Jamie Klein, who is unfortunately couldn't be here. Uh, Roses by Alex Lerma. Uh, Zugzwang, Yolanda Centeno. And uh, No Love Lost by Shakar Abbasi and Shalinder Abbasi, and we have Shakar here as well. Book ends, Caleb Herman, and Win by Hunter Hopewell. So, without further ado, the Real Rose Award for Best Short Screenplay goes to... Zug Zwang. Congratulations, Yolanda. Yolanda uh, could not be here. I don't think we have Yolanda online. Is Yolanda online? No. No, Yolanda. Okay, well, congratulations, Yolanda. Excellent, excellent screenplay for, uh, for your short film. All right, moving right along. Oops, that's me. Let me know when you're going to go, and I'll mute over here. I, I was going to say, it's a wonderful film. Uh, I, I was going to say, it's a, it's a wonderful film. Um, a, a riveting story about chess, and I think that's the first time that's ever been uttered in the history of the <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... Next, best feature screenplay, sticking to the, uh, to the screenplay topics. Number one, we have Adrenaline, written by Alex Chatfield, Michael Rosander, and Joseph Quinn Simpkins. Michael is actually here tonight. So congratulations on your nomination. Uh, Darhi by Mike Wiley and Rob Underhill. Congratulations, guys. Full of Grace, written by Andrew Hyatt. Uh, Masterless, written by Craig Shimahara. Craig is here as well. Congratulations. And then finally, The Descendants, written by Yasser Talebi. And The Real Rose goes to... Full of Grace, written by Andrew Hyatt. I don't know if we have Andrew on the line. Or Eric. Is Eric on the line also? Eric Roth, producer? No? Well, Andrew, congratulations. I can say that the film was very inspiring to the audience that watched it here. We had a, an amazing uh, discussion, panel discussion afterwards. Mario, you want to jump in? Uh, yeah, I was going to say, this is, uh, in previous years, this group brought us a, a great short film called Zombies vs. Jesus, which I think we discussed earlier in the festival. And while this is a, a wonderful film, I'm really disappointed that there was no zombies in it this time. So, um, <laughs> having said that, you know, moving on. Yeah, very, very different uh, in different contexts with Mary. So, all right, so we're moving to our next category, best documentary short. The nominees are Finding Beauty in the Rubble, and I think we have actually have Paul Nethercott on online here, right? Paul, are you still there? He was here. Oh, there he is. He's online. Um, also, we have Picking Up the Pieces, My Heart. Gods in the Garage, and finally, Rudy and Neil go fishing. And Abigail is also here as well, so congratulations. Let's find out who the winner is. Rudy and Neil go fishing. Thank you so much. Wow. wow. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, congratulations, Abigail. Thank you so much. I'm, I can hear them. Um, it's just um, super humbling. To have, uh, to have this platform as a filmmaker. So thank, thank you for, you for, thank you for, for shining so much. Excellent. Thank you so much. Here's a, here we have a little a preview of your award we're going to send you. Nice. There you go. <laughs> and uh, if you haven't seen Rudy and Neil, um, Abigail, is there any way that, that we can get a chance uh, to, that they can get a chance to see Rudy and Neil go fishing? Um, right now, I'm on Fox and Fox News, and I'm hoping we'll be ready for Wednesday, 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 Wednesday. Excellent. All right, so we'll, we'll definitely wait for that to, to go out. So congratulations. Thank you. All so right, we're moving, we're moving down the list, everybody. All right, next category, best documentary. We have a lot of uh, documentaries this year. Uh, we'll start off uh, first. Uh, nominee is Angel of Nanjing. Then we have Between Allah and Me and Everyone Else, Desire of the Everlasting Hills, Inc. 180, JP2 in America, 
Jerome Lejeune, Media Apostle, and Taste and See. All of our nominated document documentaries this year. The Real Rose Award goes to Angel of Nanjing. <laughs> So we have, uh, we have Jordan Horowitz on the line with Frank Ferrando. So congratulations, Jordan. Frank. Sorry, I couldn't hear you. What? You guys won Best Documentary. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Thanks, guys. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate that. Thanks a lot. Congratulations, guys. I think they heard you the first time. Oh, uh, OK. Absolutely. And. Um, Guys, is there any way that uh, I know we talked when you guys were here, we, you mentioned uh, something about distribution. Um, how can we see or what can we expect from Angel and Nanjing that, that we can share with others and, and until it comes out? Well, yeah, it's going to be about three months before it comes out worldwide. So um, go to our website, angelandnanjing.com. Like Facebook, um, we'll be selling out. So angelofnanjing.com, everybody. Excellent. So congratulations, guys. Thank you. Thank Woo! you so much, guys. All right, moving forward. Next nominee nomination, best performance. We have several. Mr. Michael Rosander from Adrenaline. We have Mike Wiley from Darhi. Bahia Haifi from Full of Grace, who played Mary. Hassan Rostamani from The Descendants and Adam Lavorgna from Masterless. And the Real Rose Award goes to Mike Wiley, Darhi. So we have, uh, we have director Rob Underhill on the line on the, on the Hangout with us. So Rob, congratulations on, uh, on Mike's performance. He did play 36 different roles in this film, which was very incredible. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, uh, this so much. Is something Mike had been working on for years before I met him, and then when we adapted the film, uh, it was just fantastic to see how we could translate these uh, films. So uh, I know he'll be here that he's been recognized for his hard work and for training. Uh, not only uh, in a cinematic way, but also um, spent a lot of time in the real life here. We put a lot of work into me. Accurate. Excellent. Thank you, Rob. And, um, and, and to be fair, Frank, to be fair, I mean, he played 36 characters, but he was only nominated for 15 of them. So we just, you know, we kind of had to, you know, draw the line somewhere. That's true. With the exception of this award. With 15, he was bound to get one. Yeah, I mean, honestly, you know. All right, we're moving forward. So, next category, best director. We have a lot of uh, amazing directors this year. Let's start at the top of the list. Uh, for Angel of Nanjing, nominees are Jordan Horowitz and Frank uh, Ferrendo. Congratulations, guys, on your nomination. For Inc. 180, Joel Maines. For Media Apostle, Sister Helena Burns. We have some sisters here with us today. Can we get a quick picture of Sister Claire? Yeah, we can. <laughs> Representing Sister Helena, who couldn't be here today. Thank you, sisters, for joining us. Craig Shimahara from Masterless. Craig is also here. Congratulations. Rob Underhill for Darhi. And Yasser Talebi for The Descendants. And the Real Rose Award goes to Frank Ferrendo, Jordan Horowitz, Best Director. Congratulations, guys. Wow. <laughs> this this one really means a lot to us. Uh, uh, you know, when we started doing this film, um, we never imagined um, any, um, recognition for us. So we just made a story about Chen. Um, you know, we're just you know, we're excited to get this film out there to as many people and share a story with as many people as possible. Thanks a lot, guys. Excellent. Yeah, we really appreciate it, guys. And uh, if if uh, if you didn't know the the uh, when when Jordan came down, he he expressed to us that uh, him when him and Frank flew over to China, they didn't they didn't speak Chinese, so they were just filming footage that they had no idea what anybody was saying until they took it to the translators afterwards, 
And to cut a story out of that and not and not know, I think uh, it was what five years, guys, before you really got it. Yeah, uh, five, five years. Five years. Well, congratulations. It's a it's a really great movie. Uh, Sorry, I couldn't be there when Jordan came. I, I was. We had to. We had other film festivals. We just had to divvy it up a little bit. And how did you guys do in the other festival? Uh, uh, we well. doing great. It's, it's just great. It's great being here. There's an amazing, amazing here, and we've met some awesome film so that, That's really what it's all about. That's awesome. Well, congratulations, guys. Mara, I'm going to bring it over to you. Yeah. There you go. Um, so, yeah, so, yeah no, it's impressive that they shot this film with, you know, without understanding what anybody was saying and without uh, looking at a script. But to be fair, so does Michael Bay. So, you know. <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> so, but in all seriousness. Yeah. I try to get one in every new show. But um, also, if you guys wouldn't mind sharing this with uh, the link to help. Uh, Chen, uh, with his, with his, with his, um, his um, charity work. work. So, you guys, what's the link that we can go on to and, uh, and support Chen for uh, for his cause? Uh, you can go on our website, uh, uh, and there's just a donation link right there on the Awesome. So angelandanjing.com, and you can go on, and there's a donation link that supports Chen and what he's doing to uh, to save a lot of people in China who are who really are thinking about jumping off this bridge. Yeah, all, all the money goes to the You don't see a dime of that. Anything is very helpful. Very helpful. Excellent. All right, guys, let's move forward. So next award. We're looking at the Rhythm of Life Award for the short category. So this film, uh, this nomination goes to um, uh, pretty much the short film that exemplifies the theme this year of the Rhythm of Life. Well, we had many, many short films, uh, although all of them were nominated in this category. We did find one that uh, really brought us back to uh, our, our roots as society and reminded us to uh, reconnect to that rhythm uh, of, of human life. Um, and that film uh, is about a cell phone. And that goes to Alone Way. <laughs> Nicholas, Nicholas Chemelsky. N Nicholas is here. You can come on up and, and uh, show the world, make your acceptance speech. Nicholas, congratulations. I'll invite you on up. Say hello to the world. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> He's thrilled everything. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you can yeah, say. Yeah, if you it. want to tell us a little bit about your journey with the movie. Yeah, uh, I mean, it just started out as just something that, I don't know, I just did it with my friends. Didn't have too much. I used what I had, and, and it turned out to be great. Um, and I asked uh, just help from friends, and, and it turned out uh, awesome. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Awesome. And Nick, do you have the uh, the film on YouTube anywhere that maybe they could catch or watch or? So search "Alone Way" on YouTube, and it will pop up if you want to watch it. It's a very good short film, uh, independent, raw, and uh, Nicholas did a great job. So congratulations on that, and and really stick into the rhythm of life. And, and Frank, might I, yeah. might I add, might, might I add, Nicholas is probably the only probably nominee, the only nominee. Uh, that can't enjoy the open bar here tonight. Sadly, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so, so. yeah, that's true. All right, so we're moving down the list, and our next one is the Rhythm of Life for uh, the best feature award. So it's the feature film that has uh, exemplifies the rhythm of life the most, <clears> and <throat> we we nominated all the feature films this year. Uh, because they were all selected part of the official selection of the Rhythm of Life. Uh, one did stand out uh, that really we thought connected us back to that Rhythm of Life, and that award goes to the film Adrenaline! <laughs> we do have lead actor uh, Michael Rosander here, and uh, we're going to invite Michael up, and we'll give him his award. And come on up, Michael. White makes her way. <laughs> Thank Congratulations, Michael. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, we want to thank the JP2 Film Festival for this award. Um, you know, a lot of heart went into this. We want to thank God first and foremost. Uh, we want to thank, um, on behalf of Dell, Joseph, and my I, myself, um, we want to thank our wives for their support. 
and we want to thank uh, Mars, which is the Mothers Against Racing on the Streets, and we also want to uh, dedicate this to Bill Simpkins, who um, helped make this movie possible, and as well to anyone who suffers tragedies um, and need that extra hope and love and support to keep them moving forward. So thanks so much. All right, we have a few categories left. Next nomination, Best Short Narrative for the Best Short Film. We have several nominees here. Uh, Alone Way is nominated once again. Uh, no Love Lost, Wind, Book Ends, La Voz de Cuba, Roses, and Zugzwang. The Real Rose Award goes to No Love Lost. Shakar Basi. Thank you. Yeah. Shakar, Shakar is in London right now. It's what was it? Two thirty in the morning, Shakar. Yeah, two thirty in the morning. Oh my God! Thank you, thank you for for staying up with us. I no hope worries. you made it worthwhile. <laughs> so, um, you yeah, you your work. Anything you want to say? I think everyone uh, in the crew will be very happy at the cost. Excellent. Congratulations, Shakar. Thank you very much. Frank, I just want to add yep. to Shakar really quick. So, so the Shakar, if you're listening, we, you know, it's a beautiful story about, uh, you know, star-crossed lovers. But just to let you know, I know you're from England, but we've we've read, we've read Romeo, Romeo and Juliet here in America. So, so just, just letting you know, know, we know we know where the story came from, sir. But it was still <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> Mario, you're fired. <laughs> Excellent. All right, here we go. We're coming to the end. Best feature film. Several nominees here. Adrenaline, Darhi, Masterless, Full of Grace, and The Descendants. So Best Feature Film Award goes to... All the way from Iran, The Descendants. I don't know if we have uh, Yasser on the line. Um, do we have Yasser? I don't know if he's here. It, it was like 4 in the morning over there. He was like, if I get, can make it and stay up, I'll definitely do that. But uh, Yasser, congratulations. Thank you so much. I know it was a difficult journey getting the film to us, uh, but but we really appreciated it. And uh, everybody here was able to see it tonight, right? Any uh, any comments on The Descendants? We can maybe go around because we had a, a nice impression. Anybody have something you want to tell Yasser about uh, his film? Anybody who just saw it? No comments? Everybody speak up at once, guys. Yeah. Everybody, nobody wants to be on on YouTube right now. That's why. No. All right. All right. Moving forward. So our last award goes to uh, it's it's a it's a nomination that is chosen by the uh, the audience. It's an audience award. We call it the People's Festival Award because John Paul II was the People's Pope, and this award we like to call the People's Festival. Uh, so. This uh, award, pretty much after at the end of every screening, we ask the audience to vote for uh, for the film. And uh, this award was, uh, or this film actually scored a perfect score, which is has not happened in our five years that we've been doing this. Um, but it was all fives across the board. Everybody uh, voted for it. They loved it. Um, and that uh, film is. Are you ready? Desire of the Everlasting Hills. Desire of the Everlasting Hills, everybody. And we do have, <laughs> we're so honored tonight because we do have one of our, Paul Darrow, one of Darrow. our leads. Mr. Paul Darrow is here so from the film. So bold and courageous and wonderful. So Paul, we, we don't have an award yet because we have to print it. Yes. This week. We, didn't, we didn't know you were going to win yet, but congratulations. Well, um, I wanted to thank the festival. It's incredible. It's an incredible thing that you've put together here. Um, I want to thank um, the other two people in the film, Rylene and Dan, for also having the same courage, and for I'm Father and for Father Check, the priest who didn't know us, um, 
very well. He didn't know me at all, but he had the trust to to put have me part of this project um, without vetting me, which his trust in the Lord is just so incredible. And um, this is a subject about a subject that is very misunderstood today and very misrepresented in the world, um, and about same-sex attraction. And I'm just very, very honored that the Lord has has brought me to the truth, and I hope to give hope. We hope to give hope and truth to many people in the world. Thank you so much. So that that concludes our, our Real Rose Awards. Uh, Mario, did you have anything you wanted to add at the end, just to uh, wrap wrap up here? Uh, I'm the luckiest man in baseball. No, <laughs> no, no I, 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 I just want to say for our all the filmmakers, filmmakers and everybody in the audience, you know, please, please go, go to the JP2 page on Facebook. Please share links, share links to the, the films. Please share, share those, those, those you know, to those in the audience. audience. Share, share those links. links. To, to the, the films, films uh, uh, where they can get it. Uh, uh, something that always, always makes me very happy is, as the years and stuff go on, I find uh, uh, these films later on on Netflix, Netflix or Amazon or, or what have you. So please, please you know, I, I think in order to get this stuff out, we all have to do our part, part and, and you know, type those out, share the, 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 the word of these great movies that are out there. Excellent. Laura, I'll turn it over to my lovely wife. Hi. So, um, if you check in the back of your programs and filmmakers, I'm just going to put this right up here in case you can. I think it's backwards. I don't know if you can see it the right way, but we'll share the information later. So the film festival is very much, um, uh, it's, it's like I mentioned in the beginning of, of The Descendants, it's a family project. And it's not so much that it's just a family project because, you know, we're married and we've got friends that are part of, of the whole thing, but you're our family. You know, our, our human family, we all come together in order to give a home to these incredible filmmakers that are doing something so deep and courageous with their talent that often goes against the strokes of Hollywood. So in order to do all of this, um, we, we very much need the, the support of our family. This is a nonprofit. All of our volunteers, and I do want to give them a huge shout out, they, they, um, all of our volunteers that come for the actual event, they do this free and from you know the bottom of their hearts. But what's incredible to me and to my husband is that our team of uh, five, six individuals that work year-round don't see a penny. We, we can't even pay for their gas. So all of that, that's because all of the money goes to paying for these theaters, to paying for promotions, um, and, and all of that. So if um, you see the back, Give Miami Day is coming up November 19th. And that is a day when we can receive contributions from all over the world via the internet, the wonderful, wonderful web. And um, every donation that you give is matched by Miami-Dade uh, and the Office of Cultural Affairs. They're awesome. So if you want to help us out, if you want to help us continue to give a home to these incredible fil filmmakers, you guys rock. You're beautiful. I love you guys. Um, Please, please consider donating to us and all of the other uh, nonprofits that that are part of Miami and make the city so vibrant. Um, so again, that's on November nineteenth. And while we will be sending out emails and and you know just waving, hey, hello, remember us. Um, the the information is on your programs. Um, and so just any any donation, I think of twenty five dollars and up, will be matched by the city. So thank you, thank you, thank you in advance. Tell everyone, tell your neighbors, tell your friends. If your dog has a credit card, tell your dog. Tell everyone that you can so that we can continue to support these incredible films. So that's my spiel. Thanks, guys. And lastly, we, uh, we, uh, we want to thank two people. One, the audience, for everybody who supported us this year. We've had, uh, we've had more sold-out screenings this year than we've had before, so that means... Things are, are catching on, and uh, the film festival is picking up a lot of uh, drive, and, and it's because of you for, for coming and telling other people, bringing your friend, buying those film packages, and making the commitment to be here every film and experience that. That's, uh, that's really you know building up this festival, and we continue to receive some high-quality films that all of these filmmakers have uh, continued to make and uh, hopefully inspire new filmmakers to continue that. And then finally, I really want to thank our core team for, uh, for everything they did this entire year. Uh, Karen, is, uh, is Karen here? No? Uh, I want to thank 
<laughs> Karen, uh, Carla Garcia for every single social media post that's out there. It's all Carla. It's, it's not us at all. So Carla for doing all of our social media. Isabella Lopez for jumping in on volunteering again this year. Um, uh, my lovely wife, Laura, for, for all the event coordination, for putting together the run of show, for keeping everything, uh, you know, keeping us sane and, and uh, during the hectic times. Um, Jonathan Ramos for just jumping in and taking ship and doing everything that, uh, that we asked him to do and, and volunteering to do even more than that. Um, Lauren Herrera for all her volunteer efforts. Am I missing anybody else? Martha, oh my gosh, where's Martha? Martha, who's been the most amazing uh, part of this home festival and uh, really not only filling seats for us, but literally being here early enough to, to bring her entire... 50 person uh, entourage, 50 person entourage to help out. Uh, it's been very incredible. So I think I think I really want to give the, these volunteers a round of applause because we couldn't make it happen without them. Are you, are you, are you kind of seeing them? Oh, okay. So with, without further ado, uh, we're go we're gonna let Shakar go to bed. Shakar, it's been. It's, it's, it's four or five in the morning now, so I want to say good night to you. Thank you, everybody, for sticking with us. Uh, thank you, everybody, here. And uh, the party's still going here, so we still have a uh, bar, food. We'll put on some music, but as for the broadcast, that's the end. Thank you guys so much for all of your, uh, your submissions, and uh, keep up the great work. We look forward to tweeting out more of your projects coming up in the future. And uh, as soon as you guys get more distribution deals, we're more than happy to continue to spread the word for you. Uh, so thank you so much. Uh, God bless. Have a wonderful night. Bye-bye, everybody. I was going to say, you can keep it running. I'll walk around. Yeah. So while I do that, I'm going to throw up some music. Okay, everybody. So if you want to get a little more food, a little more wine, or some water, or if you can get some yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, you're going to have to mute yourself. Because, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Am I still, are, we, are we still broadcasting now? You mute us up? No, you can do it. Leave it on. Just leave it on. Hi, everybody. Do the post, the post uh, Yeah, but then I'm muted, so I can't do it. Well, here we just. All right, good night, everybody. Oh, you might as well. Good night, everybody. Might as well. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, this was an amazing.